doing what I love. See, that's how I was thinking when I was younger. How much money can I make to do what I love? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yes, Did you ever have any like, thought that, like, when you're little, in your childhood, that I want to be a architect or what you are right now? Yes, so I was doing the architecture growing up, and then I decided, you know what, I really, I really don't. This is not instant gratification, because as an artist, you want instant gratification. Hold on one second. Is Celine Dion a fashion designer? No. <laughs> oh, and I don't really see the point of blue shots, because I haven't gotten a blue shot in my whole life, yeah. and I've never gotten the blue in my whole life. Okay, now. okay. we're going to get it, okay? Don't change yourself, bro. Don't change yourself. Okay. It wasn't. I wanted that instant gratification, and basically, it's just drawing lines in buildings. It's not anything that I can physically see. It's just a line. So I thought that was boring. So then I went to interior design, and when I did interior design, I was like, okay, I like this. I can do windows and you know tables and stuff like that. And then I was like, you know what? I really I made a business out of it but it still wasn't enough for me. So when I found fashion at 12, I really wanted to see clothes on people moving around, talking, playing. It felt like it lived. So at 12 years old, my dad bought me a sewing machine, and I still have that sewing machine till this day. I am 34. Yeah, like, old, I know. So, <laughs> 34. I, so I have a 34 year old, well, no, not 34 years, but anyway, somewhere in there, um, sewing machine that I still use till this day. And that's when I said, you know what, I really want to stick with fashion. And so once I started doing that, I started making money at 12 years old. Birthday. <laughs> so I did pretty good with that, with the shirt, but then it got down to the pants. And in my head, I thought pants were just like a square with a slit. <laughs> yeah, so when I went to school, I mean, I, I got up the next morning, I didn't go to sleep, went maybe 30 minutes, I got put them on, and I go downstairs and I'm walking like this. <laughs> and my mom's like, what is wrong with you? And I said, I made my pants. And she's like, no, you have to, it, there's, a, there's a process, you can't just cut out a square and then cut a split in the middle and <laughs> sew it up and then just I, it looked very very weird very weird but she let me go to school like that I was embarrassed um, but she let me live it and then I said you know what I think I'm going to just learn how to make real pants because I said mom you don't know you don't know how to sew I made these pants this is how they're supposed to be no they weren't she let me live with my mistakes so I'm very happy because now I know how to make pants in my sleep. So yes, they were very supportive every step of the way, even until today. And one more thing. Uh -huh. Did you first sell your clothes online or in I, well, <clears throat> because I'm really old, oh, I didn't sell them online. Uh, the internet hadn't came out yet. Uh -huh. What? So, <laughs> yes, I said I was I, old. I can't you guys are just <laughs> yeah, so at the time when I was sewing, the internet really didn't come out until like 1990. Keep in mind first, the first thing that I told you, do something that you love. Because when your job is something that you love, you'll always do it. Okay? That's the first thing. Alright? I feel the most difficult challenge that I've had as far as creating a business is follow-up. There are a lot of people who don't follow up. So if you say, I'm going to get such and such, this thing done by a certain time, then you have to keep your word. You have to keep communication. That's another thing. So in your business, because your business is your business, whatever you do is on you. It's on your time, and it's good to be a boss. But if you can't follow up, then you're not going to be successful. People won't use you. If you say, hey, I'm going to be at this place at 1 o'clock, and then you don't get here at 1 o'clock, then either you need to communicate, hey, my tire is flat. <laughs> I'm going to get some air, and then I'll be right there. Or you don't.
don't say anything at all, and then that makes the next person, when they do a referral or if they call them testimonials, when people do reviews on you, they'll say, oh, she's always late, she's never this, she's never that, she's fired, that type of thing, okay? So yeah, you never, you always want to make sure you follow up and you communicate. Professionally at 12 years old, um, I was still illustrating. So I would illustrate books and illustrate, you know, anything just dealing with drawing. And eventually, I caught attention to a designer in New York, and she wanted me to be her apprentice. So, like how she's here with me, um, I had a person, she was about my age, and her name was Jenna Morris, and she was going to school in New York. So I just finished talking with the children from the Academy uh, Rainbow um, here in Madison. And um, the fifth graders were amazing. They literally asked questions about everything. That is what makes my day. The fact that I really didn't, because I really don't like doing a lot of talking about myself. And most people who know me know I don't like to really talk about myself. But talking to them, they had so many questions. And that's the reason why I really love teaching. I really love teaching. And I am going to do more tutorial. What is that? that? I don't know what that is. But anyway. Makes my smile. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I, I really like... Um, the fact that they are just so engaging like I had so much fun and I had too much fun they asked so many questions and um it was just amazing it's something that I really love to do I know that I love to um teach and it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to do more of volunteer work something I'm gonna have to do more of it um, but anyway, I am on my way to meet a client um, at Jim and Nick's. Just had to, you know, gotta handle the hunger. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it was just an amazing day today, and I um, got a chance to be with Jasmine. I didn't get a picture with her. Dang it! I should have got a picture. I should have got a picture with the class. Oh, I'm not thinking, Dion. But anyway, um, yeah. So, on to the next one.